Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Repent and turn to the Lord. It's time to turn to the Lord and be washed. It's time to come out of darkness and come to the glorious light of the gospel. Hallelujah. Yeah, Jesus is coming back. He's calling you. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. It's time to come out of darkness and come to the light. The Lord Jesus Christ can transform you. Only the Lord can change you. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Come out of sin and turn to Jesus Christ. Come out of your wicked ways and be born again. Jesus Christ can change you. Come out of your darkness and get a new heart. You must come to Christ to be born again. Jesus Christ says you are not entered to the kingdom of heaven if you're not born again. You have to be born again. That means you need a relationship with, with God. You need to know God and God needs to know you. Many people, God doesn't know you because you don't spend time with him. You don't obey his commandments. The children of God obeys his commandments. The people who disobey God's commandments don't belong to the Lord. They belong to the children. They belong to the devil. So we know who's the children of God, but who obey God's commandments. We're not all children of God by default. No. By default, we're children of wrath. By nature, we're children of wrath. So that's why Jesus says you must be born again. You must be born again, sir. Huh? I got Jesus, man. I'm preaching Jesus today. It's all I got is Jesus, man. He is provided. He is Jehovah Jireh. He'll provide anything you need. The Bible says in Matthew 6 33, yeah. seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things will be added on to you. How so, will I do that? Huh? How will I do that? So, about being obedient, re repenting from your sins, being a true servant of Christ, seeking him, seeking his will. So, God knows all our problems, you know what I'm saying? So, the Bible says, I think it's in Matthew, it talks about how God feeds the birds, he feeds the sparrows, but he says, you're way more, you're way, way more important than a sparrow. So, you don't have to worry about food and clothing, that's what the Gentiles seek after, but you need to worry about seeking first the kingdom of God, doing his will. Because when you do God's will, all these little things like food and shelter, He will take care of you. Right now, it seems like it's very like big in your life. Like, oh man, like you know, what I'm gonna wear or what I'm gonna eat. But that's because you're not focused on God. When you're focused on God, then all these all these problems of life are very very small. They're very very small. I'm not trying to say. I um, mean, obviously, it's reality. You know what I'm saying? If you're hungry, if you don't have if you don't have anything, you actually feel the pain. But that pain. That that pain, you need to give that stuff to Jesus Christ. You gotta be saved to accept Christ. You have to be saved to accept Christ. Well, to accept Christ, that 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 makes you saved. You know what I'm saying? It's not by works, but it's by it's faith through grace. So His grace is what came down here and saved us. You know what I'm saying? We can't work our way to heaven. See, I'm not out here to, to, to try to be saved. I'm out here because I am saved and I love Christ and I love my neighbor. See, you know what I'm saying? So first, you gotta start a relationship with God. When you have God as your best friend, when you're when you're truly born again, when you're a born again Christian. God dwells inside you. You're born again. You, re you receive the Holy Spirit. But God is so far away. No, He's not. He's right here, bro. God is the Spirit. The Bible says God is the Spirit. So God's Spirit is everywhere. God's Spirit is everywhere. You know, the fullness of the fullness, the glory of God fills the whole earth. So everyone's breathing right now because God is allowing it. So you're not separated from God right now. See, if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God. Oh. And separation from God is torment. It's mental torment. So everything here on earth is good. So air, breathing, food, laughter, joking around, all this good stuff comes from God. But in hell, all the good stuff is taken away from you. So that's why hell is darkness, because the Bible says God is light, and in him there's no darkness. So yeah, in hell there's there's no light. In hell there's no freedom. There there's yeah, hell hell's horrible, man. Hell you, there's no there's no water, there's no food, there's nothing in hell. No, there's nothing good in hell, because everything good comes from God. So this is why you gotta acknowledge him as Savior, acknowledge him as king and ask him into your life. Tell him to change you. Because whatever's whatever's hard in your life, you cannot overcome by your by your own human effort. Because this is a spiritual warfare, man. This is a spiritual world. You're more you're more spiritual than you are anything else. 
But the thing is, you can get sand can get you in the flesh. All this stuff out here in Las Vegas is, is fleshly stuff. It gratifies your flesh. But Jesus Christ is calling you to come out of your flesh, and He's calling you to walk in the Spirit. He's calling you to He's calling you to obey Him and listen to Him. Wow, that's deep. Yeah, it's, it's the Bible, man. It's the Word of God. It's the Word of God, man. It's not my own words. It's, it's, it's God's words. God's the Bible says God's words is like a sword. It pierces the heart. So God's word it, it, it pierces your heart. So only God's words can transform you, man. No human words can help you. Only the word of God can actually change your heart and purify you. The Bible says in Romans 12, 2, to not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. So you have to transform your mind with the word of God. When you read the word of God, uh, the word of God is working inside your heart. It's working, with, it's working on your mind. That's why you got to stay in the word. That's why you got to meditate in the word. Read, read the whole thing, man. Read, 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 read the whole Bible. I would say read the whole Bible. Genesis and Revelation. Amen. And keep reading it. It's not, it's not like you read it once and you get everything. No, that's not how it works. The Word of God is alive, so you should continually, continuously read the Word of God. God will continuously give you more revelations because we're, right now we're on the fallen world. Everything is coming against you. This whole world is, is actually is, is meant to come against you. We're in a fallen world, so that's why you got to stay in the Word of God. You got to put the armor of God on. So you're not out here being mesmerized and trapped and deluded um, in sin. So only the word of God can protect you from the evils of this world. Only the word of God can be your shield, okay? But first it all starts with a relationship with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the son of God, one of a virgin. He died and rose again on the third day. And you put your trust in him, you'll also rise with you will also rise, you will have everlasting life with him. You already heard of John 3.16? You ever John 3, 16? So God so loved the world. He's given, he gave his only begotten Son. So those who believe in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. So you have to believe in the Son of God, which is Jesus Christ. And you will have everlasting life. But to believe in, but to believe in Jesus, we have, to, we have to walk it out. Because if you say you believe in him, you should, you should show it, right? So, so, the, so the Bible says, faith without works is this. I love Jesus. You have to keep it hot. Hey, bro, you gotta, that's perverted, bro. Your heart needs to be cleaned out. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's very embarrassing, bro, to wear a shirt like that, bro. That, that shows what's inside your heart. It could be like pornography. It could be it could be lust. It could be adultery, man. I'm saying it's all of the above. God knows my heart. Bro. And that's disgusting, bro. That's inside your heart. That's disgusting. You can tell me whatever, bro, and I feel like you telling me and you disrespect me, and I feel like busting you in the mouth. You're disrespecting yourself, bro. What you mean, bro? disgusting me, bro? You said you love notes, bro. That's what nasty, you, what bro. you mean is disgusting, it's disgusting, bro? I'm a I'm a sock your ass if you say that shit again. Well, it is. It's perverted, bro. You need you need to you need to work. You need Jesus, bro. Let me see. No, bro. Look, look. I'm trying to help you, bro. Like, you know, those anger in you, that's, that's demons, bro. It's demons. It's you need demon. peace, bro. Jesus Christ gives you peace, it's bro. Demon. He gives you peace, bro. I'm about to leak your damn ass. You need peace. You don't know what peace is, bro. Okay. You're just talking that religion shit. Okay. You're trying to fucking put poison in this nigga. If you, head. Don't, if you don't want to, bro, just you walk. You better get the fuck on. You're going to walk before walk. I do. I promise you that. All right. I wasn't You're going to stop talking, talking to him before I do, All nigga. Right. Jesus Christ loves you, bro. Did you well, hear what the fuck I said? Jesus Get Christ loves you. Off me, hey, Jesus loves you, bro. Hey, are you, you, you going to stay here? Your hands on me, nigga? Are you going to stay here? I'm about okay. to leak you. Huh? I, yeah, he better. Was that that's, nice? what, that's what the fuck you better do. Get the fuck out my face. Right. Get on my face. All right. Get on my face, nigga. All right. Jesus loves you, bro. Yeah, he do. I know right. he do. All right. You're, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna see him before me, though. Get camera? the fuck out my face. Camera, Get on my face, nigga. All right. 